thing I like doing with uh, DeviantArt style is, you know, doing the match color. So why don't I do that and show you what I mean here? I'm just going to pick some images that are quite different from each other as far as color. And I'm going to bring up the, the match color option. We're going to run through some of those and show you how cool this really is. The match color option here. All right, so I'm just picking some different images in my collection here that have different darkness, lightness, color ranges, and you're going to see how cool this is. All right, so I'll press enter once again, holding down control to open these different ones. And watch what we do here. Okay, now that these are up, let's go back to our image here. And now you can select a layer to apply a match color to. So let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer. All right, and now let's go to image adjustments, match color. I think they added this in CS2. It might have been CS. All right, so what we can do here is we can choose a source to basically apply the color or match the color to this active layer. So let's go ahead and just scroll through these. Once again, we're on the background layer and it's just applying the color. It's matching it to this layer. So you can get instant, really cool looking effects just by picking some different images, opening them and then running through them. So find things that you like, and then you can use certain parts of them. So for example, this looks like moon rock now. Well, we can keep that if we want. All right, so you can just run through different ones just to get, you know, different effects and everything. All right, so say, let's go with this one for now. Let's press okay. Of course we can, um, you know, change the luminance here, make it darker here. Bring it up, all right, desaturate it a little more, or bring up the intensity. And fade will bring us back to the original source color image there itself. But let's go ahead and press OK. Now we've applied that match color to this layer. All right, and of course we can also do it to this one as well. So let's duplicate that just to have a safe backup. All right, and go back to match color. And we can run the same thing. And I suggest trying, you know, different ones, not necessarily the same, but just see, because this one, okay, that's the original source. If we turn preview off, it's the same, because that's the original uh, source image itself. But just go ahead and try some different options and see how the instant effect you get is really kind of cool. All right, so that works. Uh, this is the one we used before. All right, and see it's got some extra luminance here because it's applying the lightness from that image to, to this layer with the match color. Okay, yeah, let's go back to, where was it? And, you know, you can really get some cool ones. If you find images in doing this that you use often, just put them in a special folder or something. You can come back to them. Um, they can be your go-to images. And I had some like that before. Um, maybe I'll find them again in the future. So let's just modify things here. We'll bring up the color intensity and bring the luminance up here. Okay. All right, press OK. So now if we look at things, ah, <laughs> let's go ahead and first create a folder here, put these unused layers, our backups in here. So if we look at things, let's look at the original. Just by applying match color, we get a whole new cool effect. All right, and yes, we do have some banding or whatever you might want to call it on the edges so let's go ahead and control click on this layer and let's just in this case let's go ahead and let's do this